Israel has successfully carried out its second launch mission this month after a 25-minute mission. Seven Singaporean polar satellites have been successfully placed in the orbit using the PSLV launcher this morning. The main satellite of the mission, DS-SAR satellite, has been separated and placed in its intended orbit. Once deployed and operational, it will be used to support the satellite imagery requirements of various agencies within the government of Singapore. Chairman and Managing Director of NSIL, which is Israel's commercial arm, say that it was historic for a single customer to use the PSLV launcher for four launch missions. Israel tweeted about the successful launch, thanking NSIL and Singapore for the contract. The mission is PSLV's 58th flight, and it is also the rocket's 17th flight in standard configuration. This is the first time in five years that ISRO has performed two launches in a month. In yet another successful rocket launch mission, the Indian Space Agency ISRO lofted seven satellites into orbit. All of these seven satellites are from Singapore. All of them were placed successfully into orbit and ISRO chairman said that the precise orbit has been accomplished. Let's remember the fact that this is the fourth time that Singapore has chartered an Indian rocket, an Indian PSLV rocket to loft their satellites into orbit. This goes on to show the close ties between the countries and also the reliability of ISRO in the international launch market to be able to facilitate flawless launches for customers. This was also the 431st satellite. In fact, 431 satellites till date have been launched by ISRO and all 431 are of foreign countries. So this is the reliability that ISRO enjoys. 431 foreign satellites launched by Indian rockets and this also brings in a huge chunk of revenue for the Indian Space Agency and for the Indian space ecosystem. Let's remember that this is also a launch that is significant for another reason. ISRO is trying out a new method this time around to reduce the space debris that will actually uh, come into orbit because of this mission. Usually what happens, the PS4 or the final stage of the rocket revolves around the Earth in an uncontrolled manner. But this time around, ISRO is lowering its altitude from 535 kilometers. It's being brought down to 300 kilometers, which means essentially that it will spend lesser time in orbit and won't pose any major threat to other space assets. Also, this will help in later on bringing that uh, orbital stage, that is PS4 stage, uh, re-entry back into Earth. So this shows that ISRO is seriously committed towards ensuring that space is sustainable for use and space debris is mitigated. From Sri Harikota, Siddharth MP, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.